using the principles of the power swing, uh, I'm not trying to hit the ball a long way when I'm pitching it, but I want to control the swing plane with my shoulders. That means again when I take the address position, I'm standing more or less at shoulder width with the ball in the middle of the stance and I take the address position so that my upper body is at about a 90 degree angle to the golf ball. The main thing here now is basically when I start the backswing again, it's the muscles in my left side which are pulling the left shoulder down into the plane of the golf club and the muscles of the right side which pull down the right shoulder. When we were chipping the golf ball, we basically held the hips still and just used the muscles of the left side to move the shoulder back. We then used the hips to move through. Now, if I do that, I can chip the ball quite a considerable distance. When I'm wanting to hit the golf ball further, then I have to increase the swing. And in the past, a lot of people have done this by hinging their wrists. When you do that, you're using virtually a hammer to kill a mouse. Uh, you're taking far too much swing for what is only a short increase in distance. So I would first tell you, take the address position as before, and instead of turning the hips back or turning the shoulders back without the hips, allow the hips to go with. That way you can get your left shoulder down and the club up to around about kind of waist height then you use the left foot again to start the downswing. Make sure that the muscles in the right side contract and get your left shoulder down. And that way you've got a good, simple pitching method where the golf ball gets a little bit more energy, will fly a little bit higher because of it has more spin and will stop a little bit quicker on the green.